Hi, this is Chris Davis for Slash Gear and this is the HTC Touch HD. We've had a few people ask about text input methods on the Touch and whether they match up to those entry methods on the iPhone, for instance. So I thought I would show you how we go about composing a new email message and you can see for yourselves. So on Touchflow H um, 3D, we move into the email app and we can start a new email message there. Now, this keyboard here is the standard HTC keyboard. I'll just move that a bit closer so you can see. Um, it's full QWERTY. Um, there's a toggle here to switch between um, ABC, which is basic text entry, and T9, which uses the predictive text. Along the bottom row here, because the Touch HD doesn't have a manual D-pad, those are the controls to move around the page. This button here moves into one of nine different symbol and number pages, and you can scroll through those with this control here. I'll move back to the full QWERTY there. Other options include the phone keypad, which basically looks like a phone keypad. And this is probably more use with T9, which just toggles by hitting that button there. Same symbol menu, which you can go through, except now it's obviously spread over 13 pages as the buttons are slightly larger. Alternatively, there's the compact QWERTY, which is similar to SureType on BlackBerry handsets, where there are two letters per button. And you can either do this where you say, tap twice. So if I want a W, I would tap twice to get it. Or you can do it with T9 turned on and it will predict what letters you want and what word you want based on what it thinks that you're trying to spell. So texting on this is quite simple. Uh, T9's turned on, so if we type a quick message, it's quite fast, quite responsive. I'm finding I prefer the full QWERTY keyboard, even though the keys are slightly smaller. Uh, they're similar size to those on the iPhone, for instance, so we can type a message on this. And what you can see there is that where I wanted to say the, in fact, it's actually come out as YJE. Now, this is one of the bigger problems on Windows Mobile, um, which of course means it's a problem for the HTC Touch HD, which is that the autocorrection on Windows Mobile just isn't as good as that on the iPhone, for instance. So whereas the iPhone, I'm pretty confident in saying, would have automatically converted that to the, that's just not happened here. And so you have to go back and edit it. The actual keyboard itself is pretty easy to type on. Uh, the buttons, again, are similar size to that on the iPhone. One thing they don't have is the little pop-up letter when you press one of the keys. Normally on the iPhone, you get, a, like say if I press the E there, you get a small letter E popping up above it so you know which letter you've pressed. Now, on this, the Touch HD, when you're typing with the stylus, that's not such a problem because obviously you can still see which letter you're pressing and the letter does get larger. But of course that's blocked when you're using your fingertip. The usual Windows Mobile input methods are also allowed. Um, there's the block recognizer, which recognizes letters here in this sort of panel at the bottom. And it uses a, um, an input method similar to Palm's graffiti method. Then there's also the keyboard, which is a very small QWERTY keyboard, uh, the standard Windows Mobile one. Probably a little bit too small to use with your fingers, but if you're using the stylus, it actually could be a little easier than HTC's keyboard because it doesn't block as much of the screen. Uh, there's also a letter recognizer, which recognizes letters one by one.
depending on where you write on the page. And there's Transcriber. Now Transcriber is the handwriting recognition. Um, it allows you to write basically anywhere on the screen, uh, including a mixture of cursive print and mixed styles, different symbols as well, and it attempts to recognize them. So again, it's not something I've had a huge amount of success with. Again, the recognition quality isn't great, which is strange because Windows, for instance, has the not incredibly successful um, tablet PC platform and handwriting recognition on that is pretty good. So I can only assume that it's something to do with the processing capability of the Touch HD. I've been spending most of my time in the full QWERTY keyboard. I've found that with a little bit of practice, typing on that with my thumbs is not quite as fast as that on the iPhone, but the resistive touch screen certainly is among the best resistive touch screens I've tried on a smartphone, and it's pretty good. So that's text input on the HTC Touch HD. Full review of this smartphone is going to be on slashgear.com. I've been Chris Davis. Thank you for watching.